Hello everybody, I am Tony. Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, special welcome to you. Um, I know I look a little funny right now. I just put on some foundation and haven't had time to put any powder on or anything yet. So I look a little funny, but that's all right. <clears throat> um, today... I am going to be doing a get ready with me pretty much um this is gonna be a um joker style get ready with me I got in the mood today I put my joker shirt on and my Harley Quinn shirt whatever and um just got in the mood to do this play around a little bit have some fun um been stuck in the house too long to uh not enjoy myself with my makeup anyway um but if you guys are here for the giveaway um you are more than welcome to stay for my video but i did want to get this out a little bit early um if you want to um, join the giveaway, just put a um, a palm tree emoji in the comments and put a place you would like to go when all this madness in the world is done and over with. How about that? I think that's doable. Um, so, all right, let me close this up and then okay I think that is good um what's next so how is everyone doing um Anybody have anything exciting going on or anything new going on in their world? Honestly, I'd love to know because I'm bored as heck with my world. Um, there's not a whole ton to do right now and that's apparent for everybody. But, you know, with the amount of people that talk on here and comment and everything... Um, you guys really do entertain me sometimes because <laughs> I, I definitely need entertaining some of the time. I, I don't know. I really enjoy your comments and everything. It gets me by sometimes. It really does. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys comment and, um, I get to stay in touch with some of you because I don't get to stay in touch other ways and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. It's just really nice. And especially when I have, um, giveaways going on, I get a whole lot more comments than normal. So, <clears throat> um, but that is fine with me. I understand um, that a lot more people are going to comment during a giveaway. It only makes sense. But um, those of you that do comment otherwise, I really do appreciate it. And um, I don't know. I enjoy the company, I guess I should say. I have a new blush. It's called um, Diffused Heat. It's by Hourglass. It's in this pretty packaging that I put a fingerprint on already. It looks like this. It's really beautiful, actually. Oh, I like that. It's like 
there, but it's not in your face. I mean, like, I put a lot on, I think, but, so, I don't want my cheeks to look different. Okay, I'm good. There goes that. And we're going for a green and purple look today. So I'm going to use a colored highlighter because I always love when I can get away with using them, which is pretty much every day anyway. So let's see, green or purple. Um, if you guys look at this, this is pretty sick. I have a huge dent in the green one. So what do you think I'm going to use? <laughs> green it is so wow that's pretty intense um just a little I'll fix it or I could just leave a blinding highlight on my cheek I'm not really gonna be going out or anything so it's not like anybody's really going to see me. There, I made a match even. Yeah. Just a little green. And then... I saw something in the news the other day that really scared me. Sorry if you guys hear my dogs barking at all. They're really annoying and they pretty much um, interrupt every video I make, but there's nothing I can do about it. Um, <clears throat> but um, I noticed... I saw that they got in the state of Washington, um, they got, I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're like killer hornets or something like that. So, um, if that went on any longer, I was going to stop the video anyway. So I'm glad they stopped. But... They have, like, these evil hornets that are extra large. And, um, they're not that nice. And some guy let one of them sting him to see what would happen. And he cramped up to where, like, he was like this. He couldn't move his arm. It was, like, stuck in a position like this. And he had a welt that was, like almost an inch off his arm in the case in the course of 15 minutes now with somebody like me or like my father who is allergic to flying stinging things um I wonder now I'm not allergic to everything that flies and stings but I think my dad is only because he's been stung so many times. Um, but, uh, I am allergic to wasps and hornets, I think. That's what I'm allergic to. And they are not fun to deal with. Um, I have to carry around an EpiPen and that's real fun to deal with in life. But, Oh, well, um, you know, it is what it is, but I hate to see what these things are going to be like, and hopefully, um, they don't get a big hold on the country before we get a really bad winter and they die off. Like, that would be amazing, 
but that's not usually how it happens. Um, I really do forget what they're called though, because like, I know they're not killer hornets cause they already have killer bees. Um, monster hornets or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. So let me find this. Um, Hmm. Let's see. Um, just looking for a way to put my brushes so they're easier to get. Let me put some glitter glue on because I'm using some shimmers that are kind of piecey, if you know what I'm saying. So I want to um, make sure it's going to stick and it's going to stick well. It makes it a little harder if you're going to pack on like a matte color because it's so sticky, but um, if you mess with it enough and kind of like pat your first um, coat of your mat on, it will go a little easier than otherwise. All right. I'm just gonna start this and we'll see where we go. I'm gonna start with one eye and then go to the other one because it takes, it dries way too fast. Let me put this down real quick and then I'm gonna go into first up my Sparkling Cherry Limeade um, Violet Floss Palette. And I'm going to go into this green right here. So, if this color doesn't scream like green, I don't know what does. So, let me get some of this on this brush. Not too much, though. Try to get a little more of that. Okay, so that brush is a mess and I'm just going to leave it. I'll grab a different one and I'm going to go in here for this purple. This whole palette, except for this color right here, is kind of like a neon palette. But, well, that and this royal blue right here. Um, but this is kind of like a neon for a purple. I wouldn't think you could word it like that. Um, so my lid is pretty much half and half. Just purple and then that neon green. And then I'm just going to set my brush aside for a minute. Um, I'm going to grab a different palette real quick. Um, I have three palettes for this look only because of how the look that I'm doing. I'm going in my, um, Revolution, uh, I Heart Revolution Tasty Avocados palette. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go into... Avo or AVO, which is just a basic green, and I'm gonna just touch that above on the upper lid, and I'm gonna go to right about the middle and go a little bit past. 
Okay, that's where things get a little strange. <laughs> um, I need my color switch. Sorry if that was really loud. Okay. And then I'm going to go into that um, brighter purple. That like more neon of a purple. And I'm going to put a little bit of it up top. And then I don't know if I'm going to do all that color or not. Um, let's see what we're going to do. Okay. So I'm just going to use that purple for the whole thing. But the greens have to be like a lighter green and then a darker green for it to look right. Um, okay. So before I do the bottoms of my eyes, which I'm not going to put some sticky base underneath my eye. That would just be ridiculous. Um, I'm sure people do it all the time, but no thank you. Um, I uh, am going to do the other eye real quick. This isn't necessarily taking that long or anything. I just um, try to be a little careful. And I know this isn't that intricate of a look once you get down to it, but... Um, I don't know. I kind of did a little bit of a look like this a couple of weeks ago. And my fiance loved it. Which he's obsessed with the Joker. So of course he loved it. Um, and I... Um, the dogs are barking again. <sighs> day in my house. You know, a day in the life. So. Um. Let's. Okay. There goes that. Don't fall off. Okay. So. I'm going to go back in with this purple. Go right back into my tasty avocado palette into that AVO color which is just like I said a darker green Okay, so there goes that. And my thing is already turning green. I haven't even gotten close to finishing this yet. Well, I won't say that. I'll be done in a couple minutes, but... Alright, so let me clean this 
brush real quick and then we'll get to the bottom of my eyes where I don't normally do stuff but I'm not having too bad of a day with my eyes watering so let's be a little bit daring um still working out of that sparkling cherry limeade palette obviously for these really bright colors and I'm going to take that really bright green and go, you know what, hold on. Let me do a fallout check here real quick. This thing is like way too flimsy, but it's perfect for fallout. It just wants to like bend as soon as it like hits your skin though. So like wiping fallout, it's kind of perfect, but it's... I'd love for it to be a little bit firmer, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, now I'm going to go under my eye, and just go to the very middle, okay, um, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I love the looks you have to make to do these things sometimes. The faces we all make when we do our makeup. It's beautiful, but beauty is pain, you know. And then I'm going to drag that up, kind of kick that out a little bit. There we go. clean these two brushes out real quick because they are in dire need of some cleaning. My color switch is in dire need of cleaning too. I need to do my brushes probably tonight. I'm going to do that. It's way, way overdue. Um, I know you should clean your brushes all the time, but I just don't. And I'm totally honest about it. Like, I don't know why. I just don't. I'm going to go into this um, Urban Decay on the Run G-Train palette. And I'm just going to go into the color City Kitty. Because I don't have a inner corner highlight anywhere else. Like, in either of the two palettes I used, I don't have a inner corner or a brow bone highlight it's hard to believe but it happens okay I'm going to clean that brush out again, and then <clears throat> I'm going to grab two things real quick. Sorry about that. I don't know if you guys saw my junk everywhere. This room is actually getting a lot better, believe it or not. I'm talking to the mirror and not you guys. Sorry about that. I have this um, Moschino and Sephora... <clears throat> um, liquid lip. I'm trying to use it like it is a highlighter. Alright, 
that kind of helps bring the look together a little bit and then this is the final step so we're just gonna do this real quick and then we are done I know this probably was a longer video than you guys expected considering I had already started my makeup but um not used to really making myself look like this this look kind of does change over the course of a little bit of time um the darker and the lighter colors actually they kind of mix and it looks really really neat later so I think um gonna wait a little while and then I'll take a picture for the video in a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like a little bit later on whenever it starts to look a little bit better so I hope you guys are having a great day um wherever you are whatever time of day it is I hope you're having a great one like I just said um I love you all very much and I will talk to you guys very soon bye